with food. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Secretary of State will be aware of the concern as to why the UK Government's approach had been such an outlier up till now, including the talk about herd immunity, when it is not clear that actually any immunity from this virus is long term. The UK is now facing an exponential rise, and I therefore welcome the UK Government decreasing all non essential contact, as I think it is critical to slow down and limit the spread of this. He talked about, or indeed the briefing from the Prime Minister, talked about not providing emergency services to large gatherings, but can he clarify whether the Government are advising against or forbidding mass gatherings? I welcome the talk about increasing testing capability, but the briefing talked about only testing those in hospital and key workers. In Scotland, surveillance testing which is in practices that monitor disease in the community, is continuing. Will that also be the case here in England? After the confusion over the weekend, and indeed the comments he's just made about healthy people over 70, can he clarify what the advice is for people over 70 who live in their own homes or live in care homes exactly? Are they meant to be staying at home or are they simply meant to be decreasing contact. In particular, is he discussing with social care providers to lengthen the time of each visit so that there is time for the care worker to take precautions? He says the healthy should go to work, but what if they work in a club? What about socially vulnerable, like homeless, or those who have no recourse to public funds, like refugees or asylum seekers? What provisions being put there? We on these benches welcome the measures in the budget, but when will the devolved governments know exactly how much funding they will have to mitigate the economic impact of this in the three devolved nations? And finally, what further changes will be carried out in the Houses of Parliament to ensure that core services continue without increasing the risk, particularly to older members of both Houses? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, we, we, we do not support uh, mass gatherings. Um, we have made clear that we do not support, uh, we have advised against unnecessary social contact, so it goes without saying that we do not support mass gatherings. Um, she asked about surveillance testing. Um, we have in the UK, across the UK, one of the biggest surveillance operations in the world about, of uh, coronavirus. Um, it, of course, it happens in Scotland, but it happens right across uh, the UK. Um, she asked uh, also about Parliament. And, Mr. Speaker, I understand that you have been having discussions today about how Parliament will operate, but I think that the whole House will be, uh, be, be, be sure in our collective decision that Parliament, although it may have to operate differently, must remain open.